Now, do you guys, are you affiliated with somebody, or is it just you eventually? We have a, a non-profit, uh, it's just us. Okay. Here we go. It is the voice of Indiana County. It's WCCS 101.1 FM, AM 1160, and WCCSradio.com. Good morning. Glad that you're with us here today. As we talk about an interesting process, or project, I guess I should say, uh, it's called Studio Stream. We're going to learn about it here this morning. Our conversation uh, with Sharon Massey and Sean Derry, brought to you by Marcus and Mack, by the best personal injury law firm in the best of Indiana County context. Marcus and Mack, a law firm representing injured people. Morning, folks. Morning. Morning. Thanks for having me. Good to have you both with us here today. So um, it's, it's an interesting, if you guys come together as a nonprofit under the, the heading of local exchange, that's that's the sort of the entity that you formed, correct? Yeah. Yeah, okay. And, uh, and so you have this project uh, that is, um, well, tell me what it's called and then we'll tell, we'll let you tell how, how it works. Sure, yeah, so it's called Studio Stream. Mm -hmm. And it's a mobile recording truck that we can drive around and we invite teenagers to come and create original content for a, a web-based radio station mm -hmm. that we're co-creating with the teens. Yeah, yeah, and, and you're actually here in Indiana this weekend, right? That's right, so we are setting up Wednesday, June 12th in the parking lot of the Indiana Mall right by the cinema entrance. Mm -hmm. um, So, so what do you anticipate? What, or maybe it's best to put it this way: How has it worked in the past, and how have kids have taken advantage of this opportunity? Well, we're we're really just looking to kind of amplify the voices of uh, area teens, and so uh, there's a variety of uh, ways that people can engage, from podcasts to interviews to monologues to reviews, um, and so it's really up to the teens to kind of share their mm -hmm. perspectives. to recording in the mobile recording studio. We have a, a solar powered Bluetooth speaker that we've designed uh, that teens get to build uh, for free uh, while they're waiting to record. So that's a way for them to be able to listen to the station or get to somebody within their social network to listen to the station. Yeah, yeah. So you're in Indiana uh, and, and elsewhere this summer you're in a couple of other communities too, correct? Mm -hmm. Yep, so the project started in Brownsville. Um, now we're in Indiana. And, and how many folks or how many how many students or, or young folks would, would you anticipate uh, you'll be using here in Indiana? I don't think we know exactly, but we would love to have as many people come as possible. So, mm -hmm. you know, we'd like to just be able to have such a nice variety of voices and perspectives um, to really kind of showcase what our community has to offer. Okay, and since we we're focusing on young folks, what's the age range that you're looking for? Teens, so. 13 to, to 19. 13 to 19. Yeah. 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 Well, it sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, in the past, when you've done this, um, you mentioned, Sean, that, uh, that you know, there are a lot of different uh, perspectives and a lot of different approaches that kids have used. What are some of the things that they've talked about? Well, um, I think uh, sort of talking about kind of their own identities and frame groups is one thing. Mm -hmm. um, we I have, would assume school life is a big part of what they talk to. Yep, yep. Uh, we've uh, kind of workshop content around fishing and, and things. You know, a lot of these projects are uh, recording sessions are occurring in, in rural communities, and so there's specific uh, kind of identity around that. Uh, reviews of fast food restaurants, which was interesting to oh, listen yeah. to, kind of a, a teen perspective on that. So mm -hmm. um, it, it's always kind of a surprise what is kind of uh, at the top of their mind. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to mention we do have on our website, we have um, a form to help with content creation, and we mm -hmm. are happy to help with that when people come and visit us at the, at the mobile recording studio, but it kind of walks people through the process of figuring out what you want to record and kind of laying out a, a map for your content so that when you get in front of the microphone, you're able to kind of, you know, sound natural and have everything planned. Yeah, and, and 
and with an age range of 13 to 19, of course, 18 is considered adult, and so I would assume that for kids under the age of 18 that they have to have a guy, uh, yeah, uh, parental permission, right. or do they? Yep, yep, and all that uh, is on the website and also can be done with uh, paper copies when people show up uh, at a recording session. So it's localexchange.org and no E before the X in exchange, right? Correct, yep. Localexchange.org. Yep. And they go there and it'll guide them right through the whole process. Yeah, that's right. If they click on the studio stream icon or they can just go to localexchange.org slash studio dash stream. Mm -hmm. All of that content is there. So registration form, release form, some content creation, help, all that stuff's there. How long have you been doing it? Well, this is a, a new project. We've been doing programming since 2017. Okay. Um, this is probably our most ambitious project in terms of uh, touching a few different communities. Um, and so this is not just new, this is brand new. It is, yeah, very yeah. new. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah. so Brownsville, now Indiana, is the second one that you've tried this at. Mm -hmm. Oh, it sounds cool. Yeah. It, it sounds like, and it's, it sounds like uh, it's an opportunity for uh, maybe folks to get an idea of what's going on in kids' lives and, and you know, so it's not just you know, for kids and about kids, but uh, it, adults can learn from it too. Exactly. Yeah, that's kind of the hope is that they're able to kind of share their perspective with their community and maybe, yeah, maybe in a way that they wouldn't feel comfortable or wouldn't have known to do otherwise. Now, you got a grant in order to help you do this, right? Yeah, yeah. So this is funded by uh, Remake Learning, which is an organization out of Pittsburgh um, who they want to transform the future of learning. And so this was uh, their moonshot grant. Mm -hmm. A moonshot grant. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah. I like it. Uh, and it, it's basically it's Earth Bomb Saturday. Yep, we're kind of riffing on the moonshot grant, and we call this our Earthbound Communication Satellite. So right. lots of shiny things and sort of space related themes. So um, obviously, we would love for folks to, and kids especially, to, to latch onto this, and pretty quickly since it's tomorrow, right? Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, so let, let's get them out there. Let's let's get the kids all lined up, and they can they can do this. And go to the website localexchange.org, uh, and uh, there you'll be able to find all the information about this particular program. Tomorrow, Indiana Mall, and uh, Sharon, what time did you say? We'll be there from noon to eight p.m. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and no need to pre-register; just show up. Well, we do have pre-registration on the website, but if people show up, that's fine too. That's fine too. Yep. All right, well, it sounds like a great time. Anything else folks need to know about it? No, come You're on good. down and record. Yeah. You're good. Yeah. All right, terrific. Hey, thanks for coming in to tell us about it. Sounds like a lot of fun for the kids. Thanks so much for having us. Our pleasure. It's 19 after 8 o'clock. It's Indiana in the morning, and it's WCCS. 101.1 FM, AM 1160, and WCCSradio.com. Uh, Fox News coming at the top of the hour, but between now and then, we've got a lot to do. We've got Boomer Sports on the way in about five minutes. And Jake is back with us from the WCCS newsroom. In our next half hour here on Indiana in the Morning, we'll be talking uh, with, um, oh, Lindsay Mello is going to stop by. She is a fiddle instructor, uh, and she's going to teach you how to play fiddle. She's with the folks at the North Northern Appalachian Folk Festival. And uh, so she'll be visiting in our next hour. It is a very, very busy morning here on WCCS. Uh, coming up, Stephanie Ackerson will be with us to talk about Stars at Night. That's the adult prom for uh, special needs folks. Uh, and Al Walker from the Indiana County Veterans Affairs Office will be visiting at 945. He'll talk about the extension of the Veterans Wall across the street from us here. And also there is a very strong possibility that uh, Al will have with him his replacement. Al is retiring uh, and uh, we might be able to meet the new Executive Director of Indiana County Veterans Affairs. So. All of that here this morning. It's Indiana in the morning on WCCS. We need to get to the health cycle this morning. Sarah Lee Kessler has the health beat. Lisa Brady makes the house call. Reportedly walking. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure.
Celebrity Summit reported being ill during their cruise, the CDC says. Their main symptoms were vomiting and diarrhea. That crew sounded the ship is now reportedly embarking on week-long Alaska trips between Vancouver and Seward. Health updates, Sarah Lee Kessler, NBC News Radio. This is House Call for Hell. The official first day of summer is next week. Warm temperatures have people enjoying the weather across the country. But with warm weather comes sun and possibly sunburn. A survey by the American Academy of Dermatology says more than one out of every three adults got a sunburn last year. San Francisco based wellness and beauty expert Angela Rossoff telling Fox News Digital a few remedies to treat sun damaged skin. Take a cold shower to wash away skin irritants, then take a bath with black tea bags or a cup of oats natural compounds known for reducing inflammation. Be sure to moisturize your skin while it's still damp, specifically using a cream that contains aloe vera. Rossoff also suggests taking an anti-inflammatory pain medication like ibuprofen. Stay hydrated and try to keep cool. Bring loose, breathable clothing made from cotton, linen, or silk to help your skin breathe. For more health news, go to foxnewshealth.com. House Call for Health from Lisa Brady, Fox News. All right, Lisa, thank you. 8.22 in the morning, and it's Andy Attic in the morning. WCCS 101.1 FM, AM 1160, and WCCSradio.com. Good morning. Thanks so much for being with us here today on this Tuesday morning. AccuWeather says, speaking of sunburns, partly sunny and 69 today. I think we'll be okay in that respect. Uh, clear skies down to 49 tonight. Tomorrow, a mostly sunny day, 77 degrees, and then partly cloudy Thursday, 85 Friday, mostly cloudy, a chance of showers and thunderstorms at a high temperature of 78 degrees. The weekend, a lot of sunshine, mostly sunny Saturday, uh, pure sunshine Sunday, 81 on Saturday, 87 on Sunday. Looks like the 90s uh, to start next week. So some hot weather is coming up for the start of summer. 23 minutes after 8 o'clock, and it's Indiana in the morning on WCCS 101.1 FM, AM 1160 and WCCSradio.com in downtown Indiana right now, the temperature 55 degrees and Indiana County 911 is looking okay. Nothing new from uh, that uh, Indiana Borough Police Cruiser that went with lights and sirens activated uh, west on Philadelphia Street about 20 minutes or so ago. 23 and a half after eight o'clock right now, it's Indiana in the morning on WCCS 101.1 FM, AM 1160, WCCSradio.com. Chris Anderson was here uh, in our last half hour, talking about uh, an event coming up on Saturday, June 29th, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the White Township Recreation Complex on Eagle Pike. Uh, that's the Emergency Services Expo, the White Township, the very first event that they've held of this kind. Uh, and again, it's going to be at the White Township Rec Complex. Uh, and um, their, uh, their underwriting sponsor is uh, Rosebud Mining. Great props to Rosebud Mining. They also, speaking of emergency services, uh, they are the sponsors of our Emergency Responder of the Month, our First Responder of the Month. And uh, so you can go to WCCSradio.com, click on the First Responder of the Month tab, and you can nominate someone to be named the First Responder of the Month. It's Indiana in the morning. It's WCCS. While you are there, WCCSradio.com. You can take our poll question, which this week is focused upon the U.S. Olympics. Are you interested at all? Um, the question is, U.S. Olympic trials are this month. The Summer Olympics begin in Paris on July 26th. Uh, are you excited about it? And 56% say, I have no interest in the Olympics at all. 21% say, mildly. Um, be more into it later. 11% say, you bet, they're very interested in the Olympics. Uh, and then uh, very tiny amounts of folks who are focused in just on certain events, gymnastics, swimming, track and field, uh, and, and other events. 25 minutes after eight o'clock, the poll always brought to you by IRMC, Better Health, Better Life. It's Indiana in the morning, it's WCCS. And Boomer Sports next, Jake back with us from the newsroom coming up.
teams in just 15 minutes a day. But how does the award-winning language learning app will help you start speaking another language? Start having conversations in as little as three weeks. Como que se hacer? Como se hacer? Yo sé tú. Yo sé tú. Now there's bite-sized lessons that make it easy to learn words and phrases you'll actually use. So when someone asks, how's your French go? You can say, Nothing to answer some of that takes calm work or she's back to your day one. It's not a punk cause when you find out. When you want to really learn another language, it starts with Babbel. Babbel. Language for life. Celebrating 10 million subscriptions sold. Now try Babbel for free at Babbel.com. Just go to Babbel.com and start learning a new language today. That's Babbel.com. B-A-B-B-E-L. Joe Buck and Jack Smoltz welcome you back to the city center convenience park. Uh-oh. She's looking at the cigarettes, but she just grabs the gum off the counter. Stand up to cancer and rally want you to reduce your risk for cancer. Go to takeahealthystand.org. Whoa, got it. Picked another one, Rocket, and it's a big one and pre-approved. to your children about suicide. There's support available free 24-7 at 1-877-333-247. You matter. Let's talk. What would a picnic be without cheeseburgers, cheese-flavored snacks, icy cold whole milk, or your favorite flavor of ice cream? Well, it just wouldn't be a picnic. Before your next picnic or backyard barbecue, stock up with all those dairy foods everyone enjoys. Hey guys, Ramsey Personality, Rachel Cruz here. Every day we get calls from people in all walks. 